Uh, Ivana Perkovic die zit nog steeds hier uh, in de studio. Reisvlogger en gaat dus lekker de hele wereld over. Gewoon voor de werk. Hoe fijn is dat? Hello, hello. I know I usually don't vlog on Tuesdays unless I'm traveling. But today is uh, quite an exciting day because we're going to be on Phonics Radio. It's my freaking favorite radio station and uh, I get to talk about solar travel and just, you know, traveling for a longer period of time and uh, it's gonna be live, it's the... Time to go, time to go. It is 2.15, we have to be there at 3 at the latest and I'm going to be in the show at 3.10. I'm always so anxious to tweet these kind of things or put them, in, or put them on Instagram because I work in media and I know like they can get cancelled like last minute and then it's like such an embarrassment like oh you were gonna be on the radio but actually you're not and so but maybe that's just all in my own head and I should share it more often I don't know I don't know I don't know but I am excited okay we're here and I need to fix my hair it's exactly 3 p.m. and I was supposed to be here at 3 p.m. Brilliant planning, isn't it? I should have been here like 10 minutes earlier. There we go, fun X. Seriously, if you have straight hair, you are so freaking lucky. Like two minutes and my hair is done. And we're here, the one and only fun X studio. Hello, this Hello. is Rutger, today's DJ. So fun to be here. Look, this is the mic. Uh, Ivana Perkovic die zit nog steeds hier uh, in de studio, reisvlogger en gaat dus lekker de hele wereld over, gewoon voor de werk. Hoe fijn is dat? Yeah. En nu ben je eventjes in Nederland, uh, yeah. Ivana. Yes. Um, waar gaat je volgende reis naartoe? Nou, uh, Werne, Frankrijk. Oh. Ja, want dat is ook weer zoiets. In Frankrijk heb je dus het Auvergne gebied ja. en daar heb je vulkanen, niet actieve vulkanen. En dan kan je hiken. We did it, we did it. This was so much fun. And the guys are, oh, sorry. The guys are so freaking nice and um, I didn't get asked any difficult questions or anything. And uh, I will put the link to the show in the description down below. If you are Dutch, you can uh, listen to it. You can check it out if you wanna. Yes. Yeah. You're not doing that. Damn it. <laughs> he was just twerking. I will put a little piece of it in it. Nee, Damn it. <laughs> ah, it's a line, it's a line, it's a line. And I want to hear it back. Dang. And ervoor, ik ben fucking jaloers op je. Ja, serieus? Ja, het is toch een gekke baan die je hebt, of niet? Zeker weten, maar mensen zien natuurlijk net als op tv alleen de leuke dingen. Ja, this is so cool. Home uniform is on. <laughs> I do, I am still wearing red lipstick. Hi baby. Stefan is going to work out. He's working on his six pack for Ibiza, Ibiza <laughs> in a couple of days. So one thing, we were just actually just talking about it. Um, there is a former TV presenter, Silvana Simons. Uh, if you're Dutch, you of course know her, who um, is joining a political party here in the Netherlands. And um, she is, has like a, a chocolate skin color. Let me put it that way. My memory card was full, so I switched to this one. What I just wanted to say is that I'm, I don't care about the politics. I don't, I'm not a particular fan of Silvana Simons. But there, she did raise um, the racism discussion again in the Dutch society. And I'm so freaking happy about that. Not that this happened or that this exists. Because before this discussion, there were people saying like, racism doesn't exist anymore. Racism is not relevant in these times. Um, it's not that bad, yada, yada, yada. Having a best friend like this, this seriously, like sometimes it makes me want to cry. Having a best friend who is so beautiful and such a such an amazing person, having judged by her skin color, and like even her daughters, my nieces. It's such a horrible thing. I cannot. I can't understand why people do that. Like, why would you do that? And especially like traveling all around the world, I meet people with all different colors and I don't care about your skin color and I don't care about, you know, where you come from or in what country you're born. I just care that you're a good person. 
So, unfortunately, racism is still very, very real. And I'm just happy that this discussion shows people how real it is. And I hope like it raises more awareness in people who don't have to deal with racism. Because to be honest, I'm fair skinned. I don't deal with racism, but my family does. So yeah, that's what I just wanted to say about it. And I'm just happy that there is awareness for this issue. And I hope one day these beautiful little girls won't be judged on the color of their skin because it's just it's heartbreaking i hate it and you know i hate crying in front of camera but this is something it's not even about me but they're like beautiful people being judged on something that has nothing to do with who they are as a person and that really like it kills me like i hate it i fucking hate it so badly and it makes me use very very bad language so right now i'm going to cook and like yeah i hope you, you can put your thoughts about this in the comments down below let's let's talk about it because the more awareness there is for this issue the more we can uh, i hope one day create a world without racism that would be wonderful i has cooked so it's again almost the same meal quinoa coconut dal and broccoli so different veggies this time, but the coconut dal, so good. Just make it the regular way and add some coconut, um, coconut cream, I guess, coconut milk, something like that. Perf. If you like coconut, of course. I filled up two hard disks with vlogs in one year. Look at all those rupees. Over here is my flight outfit, by the way, with these sneakers. It's 12.30, I'm gonna go to bed. If you like this vlog, please put a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button because then we're gonna travel together. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.